Hey guys, it's the first day of waking up at 7 a.m. and I'm so tired. That waking up was hard for a second, but once you get up, I feel like you're good. Hopefully I can find something to do and just keep myself busy for the, the morning and time class. <laughs> So it's day three, and I'm so tired. It's not as bad as the first two days, but I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, so it's day four, waking up at 7 a.m. And honestly, it's not that bad. Like, it's not as bad as day one right now, but it still could be better. Like, I still could wake up with more energy. All right, guys, so it's actually day 11 of doing this challenge of trying to wake up seven, no, what is it, 14 days in a row. And I know I missed out a few days, but that's because I did get lazy, which I will explain after I show you guys how I am for the next three days of this challenge. All right, guys, so it's day 13. I know I missed day 12, but every day I've missed, I figured out that it's because I've been waking up later than seven because I stayed in bed a little longer. You know, it was a little tough to get up. Now I've been, like, noticing the pattern. All right, guys, so it's day 14. Officially been two weeks since I started the challenge. And I'm not going to lie, every time I wake up at seven now, it's just like I'm programmed to do it. I am just don't feel the best at it. Like, I don't, I don't feel the best when it's seven o'clock, but... My body is programmed to wake up at that time now, like, whatever it is, wakes up. However, I want to get to the point where I'm happily waking up at 7 a.m. But then again, today kind of probably messed me up because last night I went out for a little Cinco de Mayo drinking, which shouldn't have happened. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. I am going to start posting every Thursday and Friday religiously, so you guys don't have to worry about when I'm going to post. What's up, baby? So I know you guys saw the 14 days that I woke up at 7 a.m. The reason I want to start this challenge was because a lot of successful people do wake up early. And I think the reason for this being is because it gives them more time in the day to do the things they want. So I came to the conclusion that I needed to wake up earlier to get things done. Not only that, but also to better myself and just try to be more active because i read studies that sleeping in aren't really the healthiest for you they actually lead to depression and i noticed that before because i was sleeping sometimes till like 10 9 11 12 sometimes because i would go out and also just because i'd be lazy and i realized like i wasn't feeling my best like i wasn't feeling 100 percent every single day and now that i wake up at 7 a.m a lot of things have changed and that's what i'm gonna get into in the rest of this video so first things first let's start with day one i was really motivated to start this because i knew it was gonna make a change in my life what i did was i counted down from five all the way down to zero to make sure that i wake up at 7 a.m so once that alarm hit i couldn't hit snooze all i had to do was wake up stand up and hit the stop button and that helped a lot because it got me out of bed i'm not gonna lie i felt drunk you know when you wake up and you feel like kind of drunk you're like all over the place You're lying, bro. Hold on, guys. He just took a big dookie somewhere. I don't know where. Now I gotta find it. So continue where I left off. Wake up at 7 a.m. Get right up. You get a little dizzy when you're woken up. Obviously, you know, your eyes are blurry. You don't know where you're walking. You stand up. You're falling over. That's kind of how it was for me. And it still is for me that way. But I feel like the more I, the longer I do this, the more I'm gonna get used to it. And another thing is that I do go to sleep kind of late. I go to sleep like at 1 a.m. sometimes, sometimes 12. I really try to go to bed at 12, but it just happens to be 1 a.m. And that kind of sucked for me. But I kind of want to get used to sleeping less hours so I can get more time out of my day to do the things I need to do. And then obviously you guys saw my daily routine. I would get up, feed the monkey, and then I would go make all breakfast, me and my girlfriend sometimes. Sometimes she would eat, sometimes she wouldn't, which is not recommended at all. Definitely eat breakfast, guys. At least for me, it helps a lot. And then I'd go on about my day and do the regular things that I do. The second day, it, it was the same thing. Pretty much the same thing. Then the third day and then the fourth day. And then when I slacked off on recording the videos, that's kind of when I slacked off with waking up at 7 a.m. Like, I kind of let the tiredness take over me a little bit. And I would sleep in a little bit later to like 7.30. And sometimes I was like, yo, I'm so tired right now. I really got to just sleep. And then I forgot about the five second rule. And then I was like, you know what? I got to go back to doing that. And then I did. So that's when I started recording again, which is when I started to get back in the motivation. I woke up with the five seconds, got up, did my stuff, and then I got back in the routine. And then I did that for the next three, four days. So basically, the biggest thing to do here is really just stay dedicated, keep yourself motivated, 
to wake up every day at 7 a.m. and just follow that schedule. Remember, you have to wake up. Just get up and do something because if you stay in bed, chances are you're gonna fall back asleep. You can start watching videos, you're gonna fall back asleep. That's what I did when I got lazy. But lately, the past few days, I have been waking up at 7 a.m., staying up, reading emails, cleaning the house, organizing the room, just doing things that would keep me busy in order to stay up. So what I've been doing lately is waking up, doing the normal routine, and then I start learning digital marketing because that's what I'm most interested in right now. That's what I'm gonna be making my future videos on, which I hope you guys follow me on the journey as well. And I will be documenting every single little thing about it. So anyways, going back to waking up early, the benefits that I got out of it was being more energized after I have got used to waking up at 7 a.m. And by the way, you guys can wake up at any time, whatever time is most convenient for you guys. 7 a.m. just sounds like a good time for me. Plus, if I go to sleep at 12, wake up at seven, I get seven hours of sleep. One thing that is true though, that you're gonna have to fight is yawning. Yawning, obviously, you know, when you yawn, you get tired right away. Like that's when you're like, damn, I'm actually feeling tired. You gotta fight that. Like, I mean, you can yawn, whatever, but just remind yourself, at least this is how it worked for me. I reminded myself that I'm going through this challenge. Like I need to stay up. I'm trying to work to make myself better. And this is definitely gonna be something that helps you become more successful in the future. And another tip I wanna give you guys is to keep yourself busy during the whole time you're awake. Make sure you're using your time effectively because this is really the main goal of this whole challenge is to have more time in the day and use it more effectively. Don't use it going on Snapchat, Instagram, or looking at stories, looking at people's pictures, going on Facebook and all that. That's literally a waste of time. Gonna, if you're trying to wake up early, chances are that you're trying to get something out of it. So doing all that stuff is really just gonna waste your time. You're better off doing things around the house, like let's say cleaning, organizing. Maybe that helps you just focus more on other things. That actually worked for me. Like when I just recently moved into this apartment and everything was a mess in my room. My room's pretty much like a little studio, like somewhere where I just film and shoot these videos exactly. I just couldn't focus. It was annoying me that there was boxes here and there, there was stuff on the floor, my walls weren't organized, none of that. Now I have like my flags up, my Miami Heat posters up, you know, I'm a huge Heat fan and I also, obviously I rap Florida State really hard so I got this tattoo. And once I got all that up, it made me feel more motivated, it made me feel more organized and it kept me up during the days where it was really hard to stay up because I was like, you know what, I really want this done. Like I want my stuff clean, I want it all organized. And then I started cleaning the house. I still have a few more boxes in the living room which I kind of care about, kind of really don't because my, this room was more important to me because this is obviously where I film my videos. And then another thing I noticed is that staying in bed really did not help. Like staying in bed is like a trap. You're literally trapping yourself if you stay in bed. You're letting that bed take over you. You're letting those sheets hug you, cuddle you, and it's literally just keeping you in there. So what I started doing, instead of watching videos and learning stuff on my computer in bed, I would sit down right here and just do everything. Write notes, type, check emails here and there, do whatever I had to do, but I'd have to do it sitting down. You can do it standing up too, it might help more, but obviously you wanna be more comfortable and be sitting down. It would make things easier and I wouldn't fall asleep. Like I can't fall asleep because once I get the ball rolling, I'm going, like I can't stop. Sometimes I wouldn't eat, I would just keep going until I finish what I was doing. And that's what I recommend you guys to do. Keep yourself busy at all times. Don't just do nothing. And what I mean by do nothing is pretty much just do things for your entertainment. Get things done that will really have value to you either now or in the future because this is the way I think of it I saw it in a video and this is what I want to get into your guys's mind as well is let's say there is I don't even know how many seconds are on the day there's 24 hours in a day times 60 minutes in every hour times 60 seconds so you have 86,400 seconds in a day imagine you had $86,400 every day given to you and you had to use every single one of those dollars you would definitely spend every single one of those dollars you wouldn't leave a single penny out of those eight six thousand four hundred dollars and that's exactly how time should be because you can't get that back that's the same thing with that example that money is not given back to you you can't accumulate it it's gone at the end of the day and that's the same exact thing with time that time goes by second by second so every second that I'm sitting here is actually valuing me because I'm giving value to you guys and it's helping me out as far as my channel goes as soon as I'm done with this video I'm gonna go straight to editing it and then uploading it optimizing it as much as possible on the titles description the tags monetizing it all that stuff I'm giving every single second of my day a certain task and that's exactly what you should do treat it as if it were money that was given to you and you have to spend every single penny of it you won't let it go to waste so do the same exact thing with your time anyways guys that's pretty much all i have to say i hope that gave you guys some motivation or some kind of something to help you guys 
either wake up earlier, which is gonna give you more time during the day, or just better your future in some way. Maybe you are already waking up early, but you're doing some of these things like staying in bed, and you know you're not doing something productive. Now you have a wake up call telling you, get out of bed, sit down, do things around the house, do something with your time. And as you guys can see, like the progression of my days, you saw my first few days trying out the challenge. I was really tired. You saw my, I was like, I didn't care how I looked on camera. I just wanted to document it for you guys. And in the last few days, I started to get more awake. And that's because it's just a process. You have to dedicate yourself to it. And I promise you guys, if you use that five second rule, it will definitely work. Just make sure you get up. Don't just say five seconds and stay in bed. Cause that's literally just called snoozing. Use those five seconds, get up, get out of bed, do something, make your breakfast. You have kids, feed them. Start their breakfast, do your, make your girlfriend's breakfast, something. Get going, and once you get that ball rolling, I promise you the rest of your day is just gonna fluently go by. Anyways guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below as well. Because like I said, I'm gonna be showing you guys this digital marketing videos, my process, how I go through it. However, that's not gonna be the only thing I post. I will post like, one Thursday digital marketing video and then maybe Friday a suggestion of what you guys suggest or if you guys have a question I'll make a video about that or something you know I'm gonna make sure it's not just digital marketing I want to help you guys as well that aren't just here for the digital marketing maybe you guys are here for like some Amazon stuff some drop shipping or other stuff like I have my girlfriend starting up on some other stuff as well which I can have her on this channel showing you guys what she's doing as well so literally any questions you guys have leave it in the comments below anyways guys that's it for today make sure you guys keep grinding I'll see you guys in the next one